Good morning, modern steaders. Opening up the greenhouse every morning is like a kid on Christmas morning. You never know what it's gonna look like in there this time of the year. It's, it's amazing how fast these vegetables are starting to grow right now. I don't know if you can see that, but look at the zucchini and summer squash. They've grown so much overnight. Oh, and it smells so good in here. Cucumbers are starting to get their true leaves in their second one. The dill's perking up now. That's looking good. Hey, you stay over there, mister. Yes. You ready? Look at this zucchini. Look at that. I'll have to go outside and show you what they look like in the soil blocks still. That's just amazing. Look how long that is. And then our thyme is doing really good. The tomatoes are starting to green up nicely, and that basil is really perking up. I like seeing that. And then I just can't get over those peppers. I found a little baby pepper last night when I was watering the plants. Let's see if I can find it again. Right here. Can you guys see that? Let's zoom in on it. Focus. Look at that. We already got a pepper starting to grow. Man. And there's another one right there growing. Good morning, Figaro. Good morning, sir. I want to show you what the zucchinis and cucumbers looked like just the other day when we planted them. The zucchinis and cucumbers looked like this the other day when we planted them. After seeing the garden and what it looks like this morning, what do you think will be the first vegetable we get to eat out of there? And when do you think we'll be able to eat one? Leave it in the comments down below. I got my guesses, but I want to see what you guys say. Pluto, good morning. I don't know if the wind or something knocked that fence down. I hope nothing got in here last night. Shut that off. I'm not seeing any carnage, so I don't think any animal got in here. Coming along further and further every day. It's a little bit over time, and man, it feels good when you can look back and see a big change. Goose, good morning, sir. Maverick. Why don't you? Moose, good morning, sir. Why don't you just stay in there? I'll be right there. You wanna go for a ride? If you would have just waited over here in the city limits, you would have been fed by now. Holy moly! I know. Hopefully next week we can move you. And when we do move you, Moose, you guys are going to be confined to your fence. I know. We're going to put you, look, ready, Moose? I'm going to put you right over there by that compost pile. And your job will be to turn the compost. All right? That's going to be your job, dude. Shorts and boots. You like my outfit? Yep, Figaro wants to come help you. Can't clean the barn with sandals on it, Kai. No, you get turds stuck between your toes, don't no, you? No, I just meant like shaving this <laughs> stuff. I didn't have any turds. <laughs> you just don't want to tell us. I don't know that I did anyway. Come on. You're not in high speed today at all. He never is.
You ready for breakfast? Says yes, I am. That. She loves. I think goats are always ready for breakfast. You think so? I do. What do you think, Hope? One more visit to save Zeke? You out making your morning rounds there, mister? Everywhere we turn around, there's Mr. Figaro. You ready to go out now? Come on, come on. There you go. Go ahead. You ready, Buttercup? Huh? You baby stay in there. It's just mum for a minute. Do you need more food there, Willow? Is that what you're saying? Don't let her put her mouth in there. I've been training her. You got food in there. You show me where you want it. I was wondering what all the noise was, but that's right. I forgot to let you guys out. You like to go outside, huh? Yeah. You want to play, don't you? I'm sorry, I forgot to let you out. We're going to let you guys out on pasture in a little bit. We just got to let the grass dry up some. <laughs> Figaro, are you eating the pig's grain? Is that good? Oh, you'll eat anything, won't you, dude? Is that good? That's for the pigs. They're not going to appreciate you eating that on them. Piggies, you're clearing out around that rock nicely. I'm going to throw this scoop of grain right over there. Alright, so that way you finish cleaning it up. Right there. You didn't see it, did you? Yeah, right in. Right in. There you go. I gotta have that tilled up around that rock so nicely. We'll be able to clean it up, rake it out, and put some grass seed down. Thank you, ladies. Not only are we getting bacon, delicious bacon from these pigs, we're getting work out of them too. Free work. You guys ready to come out? Everybody's all worked up today. Yeah. Love is in the air, I guess. Hope's ready to come out. Come on, guys. Stop. Okay. Right, I guess I can't get out. Well, we need to shut the fence off for a minute. I was just cleaning out the boys' stall. And I noticed that we have a dead frog right there. I think we electrocuted him with the poultry netting. Uh, we know that a frog won't win against the poultry netting. Death by electrocution. Sorry, buddy. At least we know the netting works. You ready to go visit Zeke again? Just found a frog that elect got electrocuted and died on the poultry netting. Really? Yeah.
two of them like to take off into the barn. Now they're quiet. We're gonna get the baby goats out on pasture. I figure we need to get a few more things from the play on out there. We should have two pieces of two by six. Yes, we do. I think we'll put it in the apple orchard because it's pretty shady over here. Maybe we'll make a little course for him. Right into the trees. If I was a goat, this is where I'd want to hang out. It's nice and shaded. I don't know. I made you some patches to cover your holes so your goats can't get their heads stuck. Thank you. It's raining apple blossoms. It is, but that breeze feels nice. Okay, I'm gonna let him out. Yep. Nora, this is the first time you get to play with the other little ones too. What are you gonna think? They're like, what's going on? Brother two, you checking out Willow? What do you think, Nora? There's too many of them to keep track. Oh, 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 oh! Oh my God! God. That magnolia, she's a. Crush. How's that water, Buttercup? Oh, Safe for your kids. She always has a good drink. Go follow Livy's. Come on, little one. Little two. Here we go. The one and the other two. So do what your mom's got yourself on the way down. Hi, Brother two. Livy's like, I don't know what to do. They go the wind. Yeah, she actually, she actually ran. And she jumped on top of Buttercup like that. What do you think, Ivy? After all that work, and you don't even want to play on it. It is. Even with real kids. They will usually human the real kids. Human kids. Human kids just want the cardboard box. Yeah, they probably would too. <laughs> right. Brother one and brother two, over this way. Stay this way. They're like, no, we know home's that way. Come on. Come on. You like those yellow flowers or what there, girl? Come on. They're not standing a chance with you around, are they? Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. There you go, come on. 
Nora can run really fast. Come on, boy. Yep. Is Ivy in the goat stop? Yeah. What do you think of that? Smelling it in there? What do you boys think of the new pasture, huh? A whole new life out here exists for you now. Look at your coat. Love the coloring. Yeah, love it. You're jealous of the little babies, aren't you? You want the attention. Yeah, you just want some attention, huh? Yeah. Do you see where Nora is? Yep. Her favorite spot in the feeder. Isn't that all the baby goats? Favorite spot? Yep. Eventually? At some point. Mm -hmm. Nora, I thought you'd want to play with the kids a little bit more. You don't even care about them? That's what happens when you're only child. <laughs> it's like a live doll for Olivia. Mm. You're so silly. You're so silly. Are you a goat or a cat? <laughs> kind of like a goat cat. <laughs> mm. That's kind of like your mother's pregnancy pose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check on the nursery and see if our eggplants are starting to come up and what else that we have growing. That plants of eggplants right here. We're going to do them every 18 inches. Eggplants love heat so they're going to do great in the greenhouse and they're a heavy feeder. So we're going to put compost in today in the hole with them and we're going to put some, we're going to use blood meal. This is our organic nitrogen. So we'll get six done. I think that'll be enough. We'll do watermelon down that end. We've got to figure out what we want to put in the middle. Oh, I want to do, can we do another melon? Because I'd like to do canter. We're going to see if we can find some. i got to run up to town today. Maybe I can see you. So I want to get some phosphate rock for our carrots. I'm going to run to the feed store for those, so while I'm there looking for that, I'll see if they have any. We had two muncher cucumber plants that weren't looking so hot, and we had two in here that were a lot better shaped, so Gina just swapped them out. Can't wait. What are you most excited about for our vegetable or our fruit? That's the variety we're gonna have. Yeah. And I got blueberry plants coming soon. I know, right? So I was just talking with our friends over at Rimmel Greenhouse. Rimmel Greenhouse is where we got our greenhouse kit. If you wanna check out the build series of us building the greenhouse, I'll put a link here. And if you wanna check out Rimmel Greenhouse, I'll put a link in the video description down below to their website. And we have a 10% off promo code. If you guys are looking for a greenhouse or anything greenhouse related, check that out but what they were telling me is I'm better off pulling the flowers off of our pepper plants as much as it hurts it does hurt <laughs> and even if there's little tiny peppers to remove them and this will help ensure that our pepper plants get bigger and then later on they're gonna produce a the pepper plant will get bigger and then later on they'll produce bigger better and more peppers and that's what we want so we're gonna go around and do that right now. Because you said you saw a little pepper, right? Yeah, that's right here. I was just showing it to him this morning. Oh, yeah. Oh. Here it is. Hey, they were saying you can leave some on if you want to have some early peppers, but that plant's not going to get very big. It makes sense because you do that to berries and all that. Right, you do it to apple trees, you do it to berries. You pick all the fruits off the first year because you want the energy to all go into growing the tree. 
So right now we want all the energy to go into growing the plants. So we get a bigger, healthier plant. This one has like four on there. So as much as it hurts to have to do that, it's going to be for the better. He's going to throw it right there. I'm going to get mine to the chicken. Okay, you can give this to the chicken. Our tomato plants aren't flowering out yet. If our tomato plants were flowering out, we'd be doing the same thing with the tomatoes. We want to pick all the flowers off the tomatoes until they're about yay high, and then we'll let them start flowering. Do you see your t potatoes growing? No, I thought you said tomatoes. Yes, look at those. All of a sudden. Yeah, they weren't like that last night. So we have right here, right here. There's another one right there. So that variety's going. This one hasn't yet. Right here. Wow. This variety hasn't yet. This one's starting right so here. here right, right there. Right there. there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Here, here, here. Yeah, one right here. Ooh, oh, right here too. Look at that. It's like Christmas. Good. This is a pile of wood chips. We've had composting over there for four years now. That's looking nice. That'll be nice in the walkways. While Tuna works on filling our pathways with wood chips, I'm gonna finish making our beds right here, up front. We got them all marked out, 30 inch wide, planting rows, 20 inch walkways. And we got about a seven foot wide walkway here and dig that all out and we'll put wood chips down afterwards here too.
there. Now we got all of our walkways covered. Makes it look nicer. It should help suppress any weeds from growing up in the walkway. And if they do, that's just loose composted wood chips. So we'll be able to just rake that out. And also, it should help keep more water in the greenhouse. So we should be doing less water, which would be nice. Look at that. That looks pretty. Oh, that looks so nice. I just gotta finish raking out the top of the beds, get them laid over, and then we can plant in them. I need to secure the greenhouse plastic out here first. And get that all nice and tucked in down and neat. And then I can get these beds flattened off up here. Get some salad stuff before it starts raining on us. It's growing back pretty good, the stuff we just cut the other day. Yeah. Yeah, the clouds over there look pretty dark. It's supposed to be getting to some thunderstorms tonight. Cooled off a little bit. It's very muggy today, but it's okay. Let's do a small salad. Burgers. Yeah. Small salad. A little bit of cucumbers and burgers. Okay, it feels good. It's like they do a little twist and jump off and then get back on. After we got done eating dinner, it had stopped raining out. We're like, we need to go outside and get a thumbnail photo. So we went outside to get a photo for today's video and took all the baby goats back out and they were just loving it. I think the cooler temperatures got them a little bit more spunkier. So they were just playing around, hopping around, having a grand old time. I went in back and I got Hope out from being in with Zeke and today's gonna be the last day that we leave her with Zeke. So I'm pretty sure she should be pregnant. We saw the deed happen a couple of times. So as long as everything works out within a couple of months, five months, I should say, we'll be having hope goat babies on the homestead. So that is something we are looking forward to. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lemon Acres.